Hi, my name's Martina Doblin. I'm a biological oceanographer and a researcher based at the University of Technology, Sydney. So microbes are tiny microscopic living organisms that grow almost everywhere on Earth. They're often called microorganisms, and so you may have heard that term before. They're important in uh, biological processes, and in the ocean, they have many diverse functions. Some microbes photosynthesize and create organic matter that is food for the rest of the food web and other microbes break down that organic matter and recycle nutrients to keep stimulating growth in the ocean. The, um, these microorganisms can also influence the world around them. So uh, some species produce gases that help form clouds that affect the way that the um, atmosphere retains heat or uh, reflects light. And so they can influence kind of atmosphere and the climate and um, have a feedback effect in the global climate system. Um, microbes also grow really quickly, often multiplying within hours. And so um, because of those fast growth rates, they're very respons responsive to environmental changes. Our questions were related to what the abundance, diversity and composition of microbial communities um, were in response to changes in temperature and in nutrients. So I guess you may have heard that the ocean around Australia and in fact globally is mostly warming. And so we wanted to understand what that might, um, how that might influence my microbes in, in waters that we care about here in, 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 in the Sydney region. So basically we need to feed the global population that's increasing and uh, wild fisheries still make up a large proportion of human protein of the protein that humans eat. And so um, we're wanting to understand how fisheries can respond to changes in the ocean so that we can harvest sustainably. We left from Sydney and then uh, we, uh, I suppose, went, went eastward firstly out into the deep blue ocean and then traveled southward to southern New South Wales where we did some work at Montague Island which is an area of strong biological significance. There's um, a penguin colony there, seals, and, and uh, we um, saw a lot of whales along this route um, because it's whale migration season. Then we, uh, I guess, ventured northward. Um, and along the way, we spent three days drifting in the Eastern Australian current, the, the current that Nemo traveled south in. And, uh, that was that was um, super fun actually, um, and then uh, went even further northward and ended our voyage in Brisbane. I would have to say that uh, well, it was pretty um, it was pretty cool seeing uh, two whales come so close to the ship, we could almost um, reach out and touch them. They were swimming underneath the ship's hull at the front of the vessel and it was the closest that any whales had come to the ship um, ever, we were told. And um, and that was just amazing, seeing those um, uh, creatures up, up so close and personal. When you're at sea, you get this sense that um, the world's a big place and that you, you're um, kind of a speck in the horizon. And I, I really like that sense of being outdoors and uh, seeing lots of amazing things in nature. And uh, it's certainly very different working at a desk um, in, in a building versus working um, on a moving ship in the, in the lab. And, um, and so, yeah, it's, it's really cool. We, we basically get to use lots of sophisticated um, scientific instrumentation and we are really responding to what we're seeing um, on the sensors that, that we can um, deploy in the ocean and um, make some um, really um, active decisions about where we want to sample, what we want to sample. And um, yeah, it's a really exciting, adventurous way to research. The, the boat is incredibly stable and allows us to do 
a lot more research than we would have otherwise been able to do on previous vessels. So when the ship moves so much and um, and it's it's windy and and um, there are a lot of chop there's chop on the water, we're not able to deploy um, any scientific instrumentation um, because it could be a danger that we would either lose it or it would get damaged. On this vessel, um, it's so stable we can. Um, do more deployments than, than we have in the past and um, because we have much more control over the way the ship moves and um, and we can respond actively to the way that the ocean is moving. Uh, so it, it just increases the level of what we're able to do out there and um, so we can really make maximum use of the time that we have on board. The ship's also just got amazing um, amenities. So. You know, the bedrooms are nice and uh, clean and we've got, um, I guess, uh, one television channel on board and we've got internet coverage. So it's really, um, we don't feel so cut off from the world as we used to when we go out. And that's a bonus because it means that we can stay in touch with our family and friends and um, don't feel like we're missing out too much when we get home. I think um, the, the best part about going to sea is having the diversity of people um, and background and experience on board um, because it makes the conversations that you have really um, far more interesting than uh, than if you were just talking to yourself all the time. But um, yeah, the, the learning environment, because you're sort of immersed, uh, I think it really makes a difference and there are opportunities for um, university students to go to sea in um, kind of oceanography or you know science at sea programs, um, one of which will soon be available for people to take in Australia. Yeah, look, it's um, yeah, it is good, and the memory of the voyage helps um, helps because we're um we we had such a good experience on board. Some of my favourite memories were not only seeing the whales, but we saw squid feeding at night and I saw a baby cuttlefish, which was so gorgeous. And, uh, um, you know, those experiences help underline for us um, what what we're trying to do in terms of understand ocean processes and, and microbial ecology so that we can help um, effectively manage uh, the ocean and, um, and make it a more sustainable place. Um, so yeah, we we're um, I guess um, looking forward to kind of uh, finding out what the results show, uh, and then telling everyone about it because um, that's a really important loop to close for us—not just to go out and do our research, but then also to tell people what we found.